Sutra of the Medicine Buddha, PDF EBUDDHANETSBOOKLIBRARYE Mail, D at Budhanet, Net Website, www.budnet.net Buddha Dharma Education Association Inc. Translated and Annotated under the Guidance of Dharma Master Suan Yuam, by Mintan and P.D. Lee D. T. Suzuki, Manual of Zen Buddhism, P. Yakushi, The Medicine Buddha, is the Bodhisattva doctor. He holds a medicine jar in his hand and is attended by T12 gods, each of whom represents one of his 12 vows. The main object of his appearance among us is to cure us of ignorance, which is the most fundamental of all the ills the Florida ash is heir to. May the merit and virtue accrue from this work adorn the Buddha's pure land, repaying the four great kindnesses above and relieve the suffering oftos on the three paths below. May those who see or hear of these EF efforts generate Bodhi mind, spend their lives devoted to the Buddha Dharma, and Fe Nali be reborn together in the land of ultimate bliss. Homage to Amida Buddha Buddha Taisho 14, translated and annotated under the guidance of Dharma Master Suan Yung by Min T. H. On and P. D. L.E. I.G. International Buddhist Monastic Institute. Sravaka. Literally, hearer. Also translated as disciple. Thos who follow the early teachings of the Buddha and eventually become arhats as a result of listening to the Buddhas and following their teachings, T. Prince, in Mahayana Buddhism, the term Sravaka refers to a person in the Thiravada school who exerts himself to attain the stage of arhat by observing precepts in the case of monks and in the case of nuns. Ths is a lower stage than that of Bodhisattva, Yoko, originally a term for any practicing disciple of the Buddha, especially those who had adopted monastic vows, the word eventually came to refer in Mahayana literature to those who were mere disciples, that is, those who did not seek to emulate the Buddha by taking the Bodhisattva's vows. In this sense, the word is often used in contrast to Bodhisattva, Gomez, Sumeru. Also called Polar Mountain. A mountain thought to stand at the center of the world, according to ancient Indian tradition. The god Indra resides on the summit while the four heavenly kings live halfway down the four sides, Sok. In Buddhist cosmology, the universe is composed of worlds upon worlds, ad infinitum. Our earth is only an infinitesimal part of one of these countless worlds. The polar mountain, Mount Sumeru, is the central mountain of each world. Ten grounds, stages, bumi. Ten stages, or ten bumi, through which the practitioner advances in Buddhist practice. In the system of the FEFTY2, or FEFTY3, levels of Bodhisattva practice, they are viewed as the 45 rest through a 50th levels, Sok. In other words, the 10 stages are among the highest levels achieved by Bodhisattvas before attaining Buddhahood. Thirte two marks of greatness, auspicious signs. The major signs adorning the visible body of a Buddha or that of a universal monarch. Some examples are, 
a protuberance on the crown, a curling, white hair between the eyebrows, a golden complexion, a long, broad tongue, a halo ten feet in radius, an excellent voice, Shan. See also AD Auspicious Characteristics TH Re Evil Realms, Paths. THE Three Lower States of Samsara, Hell Dweller, Hungry Ghost, An Animal. To be born in a miserable state is the result of evil karma committed in a past life. When the retribution for that karma is completed, one will again be born in a higher state, Chan. THSA paths can be taken as states of mind, i.e., when someone has a vicious thought of maiming or killing another, he is EFF actively reborn, for that moment, in the hells. Animals and hungry ghosts, heavens and hells, or paradises and purgatories, are metaphors for spiritual conditions and spiritual progress. THEY embody the states of mind whose pain and confusion motivate us to seek solvatayan, and the happiness and ease that foreshadow salvation, Gomez slash land of bliss, according to Buddhist teachings. Karmic results fall low ineluctably upon the perpetration of acts, irrespective of conscious attitude or moral conscience, although the quality and force of the act may be significantly FECT thereby. THS beings in the lower states, animals for example, do indeed accumulate karma and must sooner or later experience the consequences of their actions, even though these may be performed under the irresistible and flammable yins of instinct. And the karmic situation is compounded, rather than mitigated, by an unconsciousness of the dharma. The strength of instinctual habit and the ignorance of what behavior is to be adopted and what behavior is to be abandoned constitutes one of the principal miseries of existence in states other than that of the precious human condition, Shantideva, th re root precepts, th re bodies of pure precepts, Th three groups of precepts which form the basis of all bodhisattva practice, do not what is evil, do what is good and, be a benefite to all sentient beings. The Mahayana Th three root precepts are similar to a formulation in the Pali Canon, except for the last clause which reads in the latter, keep the mind pure. The difference highlights the altruistic emphasis of Mahayana Buddhism. All sets of precepts, including the Bodhisattva precepts, are derived from the Th Re bodies of pure precepts, the root precepts in Buddhism. THSA precepts may in principle be administered to Buddhists in lieu of the full set of Bodhisattva precepts described in the Brahmanet Sutra T-R-I-P-L-E-J-E-W-E-L. In Buddhism, there are three fundamental aspects known as the TH rituals, Triradna, because of their preciousness which form a basis for belief and practice. THEFE rest jewel is the Buddha, who, after years of searching found the path to enlightenment and subsequently taught it to others. THE second is the Dharma, the teaching or the truth about the way things are. THE last one is the Sangha, the community of monks, nuns, 
and lay people who practice and help others to practice the teaching, Clark, Wheel Turning King. In the Indian mythological history of the world, a universal monarch occasionally appears who is supposed to be a most powerful and meritorious king capable of ruling the entire world, Chan. Wherever the Buddha's teachings have Florida Aurish, either in cities or countrysides, people would gain inconceivable benefits, the land and people would be enveloped in peace, the sun and moon will shine clear and bright, wind and rain would appear accordingly, and there will be no disasters, nations would be prosperous and there would be no use for soldiers or weapons, people would abide by morality and accord with laws, THEY would be courteous and humble, and everyone would be content without. Injustices, THE would be no thefts or violence, THE strong would not dominate the weak and everyone would get their fair share. With bad advisors forever left behind, from paths of evil, he departs for eternity, soon to see the Buddha of limitless light and perfect Samantabhidra supreme vows, THE supreme and endless blessing soft Samantabhidra's deeds, I now universally transfer, may every living being, drowning and adrift, soon return to the pure land of limitless light, I vow that when my life approaches its end, all obstructions will be swept away, I will see Amitabha Buddha, and be born in his western pure land of ultimate bliss and peace, when reborn in the western pure land, I will perfect and completely, full LL without exception these great vows, to delight and benefit ye all beings. Namo Amitabha as this is a Dhamma text, we request that it be treated with respect. If you are affinished with it, please pass it on to others or offer it to a monastery, why, school, or public library, why? Th thanks for your cooperation, reprinted and donated for free distribution by TCBBEF, HCSRS, T. T R O C T F E at W slash slash T N C E